Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the School Technology Report for Thursday, September 2nd, 2010. My name is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org. All right, when we left off last time, we were talking about keyboarding with second and third grade students. And this is the final installment on this little section I've done or workshop that I've done on keyboarding with elementary students. Now we're going to talk about what to do with fourth and fifth grade students, or at least what I do with them in my school. All right, every six weeks I have them go to typingtest.com and they take a typing test. Let me just show you what the front page of that looks like. So they come into typingtest.com and they'll do a one minute and I got uh, rules of baseball as a little sample text that they will do and let me click on the start typing test. And essentially you have a timer over here and you just start typing it in and you can see how far you can get down here in one minute and then it'll subtract the errors and it gives me a score which is good words per minute. And that's what I put into my grade book. And that's how I'm tracking them to see how they're progressing with their speed as they learn to type. Now, at first, in fourth grade, it's kind of going to be low, like below 10 words a minute, like maybe five or six words a minute. And then they will start to get used to how the test goes. And also they're getting better as they improve with their typing skills with the, uh, with the regular practice that we do. And then we should see that get to about, I like them in, leaving fifth grade with about 25 to 30 words a minute as they type. So that's what I do every six weeks is just typing test. And let me go show you what we do just during the regular time. All right, this is nimblefingers.com and there's nothing pretty about it. It's just a down and dirty um, keyboarding practice website. There's no dancing goats or singing birds like with dance mat typing. It is just down and dirty, like I said. So they'll click on beginning keys and they literally just practice those keys over and over again. And we do that for about 10 to 15 minutes uh, once a week when they come. Now, if I look at the grade book and I can see that they're just not progressing, they're not getting better at their typing, I will usually call their parents and say, you know, this is what we need to do. They need to get into practicing at least, you know, let's say 10 minutes a day. And I've seen great improvements. I've seen someone who's typing maybe five or six words per minute. They do 10 minutes a day for two weeks and suddenly they're at 15, 16, 20 words a minute. It's because keyboarding is all about muscle memory, just teaching those little keys, those little fingers, how to find those keys. And you can only do that with repetition and time. So they just, there's no way to cheat through it. And so those are the things that I've been using in my class. So I hope that helps. So we've covered kindergarten, first grade, second and third grade together. And now this is fourth and fifth grade together. And that's where I've found success with uh, teaching my students how to keyboard. So thanks for paying attention and watching this series. And hey, I wanted to tell you one thing on my blog here. If you sign up to receive my blog in your inbox, you can get a copy of my book, which is Teaching with Netbooks. Here it is on Amazon for $19.99, but if you sign up over there, you'll get it for free as a PDF copy of it. So go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching. This is Brad Flickinger with schooltechnology.org.